Well, it's starting to feel like deja vu because another day, another dream stan literally invents a new way to embarrass themselves. And it's getting to the point where I'm running out of things to say because these people are just taking the words out of my mouth. I might actually have to call up dictionary.com and call for the expansion of the dictionary. You know, we gotta get like some DLC. We gotta come up with some updates, some new words to describe, you know, the, the cringe that I'm seeing because I don't even know how to describe it at this point. But man, these dream stands, they really get me thinking, you know, I'll just be sitting here, I'll be thinking, and I really contemplate the fact that humans have existed for over 200,000 years. You know, 200,000 years of hunting, gathering, wars, violence, resolution, all of that just to get to the point in time where people will dedicate their entire lives to Minecraft YouTubers. And fellas, today I have found quite possibly the worst example of that, somebody who is so obsessed with dream, to the point where if one of their immediate family members were to pass away on the same day that Dream was to live stream, they would without a doubt skip the funeral to see what kind of wacky drama is happening on the Dream SMP. Now, fair warning, this might be the cringiest thing that I've ever showcased on this channel. It's a TikTok, and it's a Dream stand, but you know what, fellas? That's, that's about all you're gonna get, so let's take a look. Where do I even start? Like, wh where, do, where do I begin to list off the issues and just the concentrated diarrhea that is this video? Let's start off with the obvious thing. This person is making an entire edit of Dream's Minecraft character walking in Minecraft because they find him, uh, so attractive. Like, actually attractive. Like, I'm turned on type of attractive. All because Dream is wearing enchanted netherite armor in Minecraft. I'm gonna read this word for word, okay? Someone help. You know, okay, right off the bat, even the person who wrote this themselves knows that they're off the shits. Like, they know that they're definitely off the shits. I feel like when you preface any statement or anything at all ever that you're gonna say with, I need help or someone help, the validity of what you're about to say is completely undermined by the fact that you are literally mentally unstable. But also, when this person says, oh my god, dude, someone help me, I need help, what do you want this person to do? Like, see, Seriously, what, what do you want us to do for you here? Because there is nothing that I can think of that could possibly even begin to address nor fix the issues that you're dealing with. You're finding actual, uh, I, what I assume to be sexual attraction out of a Minecraft 3D model walking. You can't just be asking any random TikTok user to just help you out with your issues, okay? You need the top surgeon in the United States to open up your cranium and take a look. Like, you seriously need to be evaluated, like, like today. No. Now, actually. Like, like this minute, pack your bags and go to the hospital. The only thing that I'll give you in terms of things that you've done right in this TikTok, because you've done about 99 things wrong here, but the one thing that you have done right is by saying, someone help. You know, at least you're accepting help. And I will give you credit for that, and, you know, it, it's pretty obvious that you know that you need help, and it's obvious that you're ashamed of yourself because you are hiding your face. You're even hiding your voice, okay? You've recorded a, a video of your ceiling, and then you type up this, this uh, this paragraph of atrocious text, but I will give you credit for being ashamed, okay? It, it would be a whole different level of worry that I would have if you were just sitting there with a big old smile on your face being like, guys, Dream looks super duper attractive with netherite armor. At that point, I just, I would say that you're a lost cause. You know, I think as of right now, you still maybe could be saved, but in a case like this, we're looking at a level of stannery that I have never seen before. Anyway, I got super duper sidetracked, so we're gonna continue to read what this person had typed. So it says, Someone help, why is Dream so attractive in enchanted netherite armor? First of all, the way that you've posed this as a question, like, why is Dream so attractive, implicit in that question is the conclusion that Dream is attractive in netherite armor, and I hate to be that guy, but he isn't, okay? We're looking at a 3D Minecraft model running on JavaScript. I'm sorry, I, I really am. But I don't think that's attractive. I don't think that I find that attractive. I understand different strokes for different folks, okay? People can be attracted to whatever they want, you know, obviously within reason, you know, children are off limits, animals are off limits, but for the most part, when it comes to people, you know, whatever, dude, you can be attracted to most things. But this isn't a person. We're talking about a Minecraft character wearing 
armor. And listen, dude, just because I know that there's going to be that one comment that says something like, oh my god, a Cheeto, they're not doing anything wrong, they're not hurting you, they're not bothering you. First of all, I am actually very bothered that this exists, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people who are watching this are also bothered. But no, let's actually respond to that point, you know, the point that they're doing their own thing, and, you know, they're not hurting me, or they're not hurting anybody, or whatever that argument is. Yeah, that's bullshit. You know who they're hurting? They're hurting themselves, dude. You know, when I say, like, oh, you need help, it may sound like an insult, which, you know, it kind of is, but at the same time, you know, it's also a very real suggestion, dude. If you find yourself in a position like that, where you are at the point in your life where you're making a TikTok like this, you should genuinely consider getting help, you know, whether that would be therapy, whether that would be a psychology, you know, unless this person is joking, but, you know, if they were joking, how come, you know, they're not showing their face or using their voice. You know, they're probably hiding themselves out of true shame. And let's be honest here, fellas, there are people in this world who find genuine pleasure uh, from being pooped on in a, in a romantic way, so, you know, I, I think that anything could be real if we're talking about this kind of stuff. But, you know, going back to what I was saying, no, seriously, if you find yourself to that point, get help. And again, I know there's gonna be some people that are like, Achito, you're not a doctor, how do you know that this person needs help? That right there should tell you a lot about what I'm trying to say. Because if you are thinking that, you know, oh, Achito, you're not a doctor, that's exactly the point that I'm trying to make. I'm not a doctor, okay? I'm the farthest thing from a doctor. I I'm a YouTuber, okay? I make commentary. But even someone like me, who has zero experience in the medical field, can confidently say that this person needs help. That should even be more concerning, okay? The fact that somebody with no medical experience can immediately point out the problem that is taking place, that should be worrisome. But if you've heard everything that I've had to say today, and, you know, in your conclusion, in your heart of hearts, you truly disagree with what I'm saying, and you think that this person is completely, you know, okay and stable and doesn't need any help, well, first of all, you're wrong. Like, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. But more than anything, you know, I could sit here and just call you an idiot all day long, but more than anything, I feel sorry for you, okay, homie? Listen, like, I, I, something, you got issues, okay? That's really the best way I can say it, but if you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. If you guys have made it to the end of this video, I want you to comment down waffles and I will try to heart your comments. Join the Discord server and follow my social medias, links all in the description below, and a special thank you to my channel members for your continued support, it really helps me out to make the content that I want to make, but of course, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.